Welcome to Anson Griffin's Occasional Series in YouTube Tutorials. Today we're in MATLAB and we're doing a statistics example and it's the man Kendall test. And we look at it in more detail what it is, but just in case you're new to it, it's a non-parametric trend test. Okay, so that's what we're doing. So you can download this. This is a MATLAB file, Central Exchange. We downloaded it and uh, you saved it. As a function, there's the function there, and you call it. We show to call it. So you put in the uh, vector and you put in the level of significance. So we save that function. We'll call it in a second. We go back to here. We can shut that down. There's from this website here. Just to say, give full credit. So. This example here, natural attenuation for petroleum, petroleum releases by Wisconsin. So we're just looking at it here. It's not dependent on the magnitude of data. Um, it does not have to be normally distributed. Therefore, it's a non-parametric test. And missing data are irregularly spaced. Now, this chap here mentions the limitations. Okay non-seasonal the more you have the better the same as any statistical test and this one here but sensor data I'll let you read that yourself if you're looking for sample data to use yourself there's um, a zip file and in the zip file there's a spreadsheet we look at the spreadsheet here and there's the concentrations of whatever the chemical is. So we want to see, is there a trend here for B7, B8, B9, B10, B11, B12, B13, and B40, just for those. And your man has it here as increasing. So let's just have a look here. Now, if just looking at it by eye, you would say there does appear to be an increasing trend. Out to MATLAB, as all the best cooking programs say, I created the array V. There's the numbers that we saw on the spreadsheet. Okay, just do a little who's there. So I did that earlier. Uh, v is an eight by one. We call the function, or the answers here. So we have H, the hypothesis, and the p-value. We call the man Kendall function with the input array, the 8 by 1, and there's the level of significance. Hit return. Now, remember 1 and 0, so I'll just get back to that in a sec. I have it here in Word. The null hypothesis, there is no monotonic trend. It's not, you know, there is no trend. The alternative hypothesis, that a trend exists. So it can be positive, negative, or non-null. Okay. So we look at this. If you look up the notes for the function here, there's two possible outputs. One rejection of the null hypothesis, zero insufficient evidence to reject the null hypothesis. So we gave it, the output is one, so there is sufficient evidence to reject the null hypothesis. You are saying you're rejecting the null hypothesis. You're rejecting the notion that there is no trend. What was the level of significance that I used here? 0 0.05. What was the p-value? What was the probability value that came up? 0 0.0354. 0 0.0354 is less than 0 0.05. Therefore, we have evidence to reject the null hypothesis. We are saying that there is a trend uh, in the data. Now, this version of MATLAB doesn't say whether it's going up or going down, but by eyeballing the data, you would suspect that it's definitely going up. Okay, so hope that helps a little, and thanks very much for listening.